So I thought we'd do another grooming video because I don't think the my last one I've been using for a while is covering absolutely everything that you guys want to see. So this puff, it's not been that long since she's had it done. So I'm going to show you the basics. So on here, she needs her eyes trimmed. And can you see that wet eyed, wet eye bit there? It's tear staining. So you pull up all that bit there. Use some long scissors. And the reason we use long scissors, because imagine if I had short scissors and she turned, you'd take her eye out. So just secure her. I usually do underneath there. Take all that line up and chop down into there. This particular puppy is going home today. I think I've picked up my most rubbish grooming scissors, but never mind. And then same on the other side. And if you want to really tidy that up, you can pull that forward and start trimming down. Onto here. Beautiful, what a good girl, well done. Now while we're at the head end, I'm gonna show you how to clean their ears. So dogs have black ear wax. Now the best thing to do, you can have, in your going home sheets, you have things you can make at home to do some ear cleaners, or you can get some really good natural ones like this online. This is from Amazon. So I want you to just completely flood their ear. So turn it over, completely flood their ear. So it's overflowing. Close their ear, give it a really good squidge and then use a baby wipe. The reason I use baby wipes and I'm using some sensitive ones, not scented or anything, is because if you use tissue or cotton wool, you might accidentally leave some in there. So I'm just gonna poke the ear and tip the ear over. And what that solution does is it melts any ear wax and it will come out. Now certain breeds, especially if you've got poodle in them, are prone to ear infections or spaniels with big heavy ears. So you need to keep on top of doing that. So there's one ear done. It actually was very clean, there was nothing coming out. But do this frequently every couple of weeks with your dog if it's a spaniel or a cross with a spaniel or a poodle. And if it's any other breed, do it once a month. Good girl, they were clean anyway, weren't they? Yes, they were. Now to keep their bums clean, you can get some clippers and just stripe their bum or with the scissors, you can just trim around there. And it's just to make sure that when they have a poo, she has had this shaved about a week or so ago. But when they have a poo, you make sure that it doesn't stick to there. And then their nails. Now all dogs' nails are different. So I'm gonna show you their nails. Now puppies have a natural curl on the end. Can you see that curl? So we can take that curl off and we know that there's no vein in there. Let's do that one. But when they get bigger, they won't have that natural curl. So what you're looking for is to look for signs of where the vein is. Now you need to look for a lighter nail. Now she doesn't have any light nails there. But you can see, even though they're quite dark, you can see it's darker there in the change. So you only take off where the change is. And if they're a very dark nail, once they're older, what you do is you turn their paws over and look at the base of the nail. And you'll see it's hollow if there's any room to clip off. If it's not hollow, you can't clip. If it is hollow, short clip, check, short clip, check. If you accidentally make them bleed, um, if you at home, you can use things like flour or corn flour to make it easier to stop the bleeding quickly, but it's best if you're gonna be cutting your own nails to order some quick stop or something like that, just type into Amazon, stop nails from bleeding, and have some at home just in case, but you will get used to it. And do this frequently because until they're out walking and not going to their nails down, they will need done a lot. And then going forward, it's just their dew claw, which is their thumbed claw that you need to keep an eye on because that doesn't go on the floor when they're walking, so it doesn't grind down. Once we're at the groomers, the groomers will do that for you as well.